Hello everyone. So we'll be including some more new logics to our simple process uh, simulation model in ARENA. So this time we would like to change the Q discipline. Let's say part B is arriving more. It might have a higher priority to get processed. This is just a logic we wanted to put in just to show you how you can change your Q discipline. So let's go ahead into our arena interface. And over here, uh, we'll go to Q data module. In Q data module, uh, as we have one process and one queue, so there is just one queue that has been created. So this is the queue that has been created. And type means Q discipline. So by default, it's first in, first out. Whatever parts is getting in first, that is going out. That is getting into the system and then going out. But we want to change it. And we want to change it based on some kind of attribute, highest attribute value. And then attribute name, my part type. I want to bring an, your attention over here. So part B, has an attribute value of two for my part type and part A has an attribute value of one. So it says highest attribute value. So when it's part B, it's two, right? So it is going to get priority over part type A because part type A has a value of one for my part type attribute. All right, that's it basically. Let's go ahead and reduce the speed of our run so you can better visualize it. Let's click um, go and let's see. So the first thing is part B and then it's going out and then it's part A and then it's flowing through and we have part B and then it's going out again and so on. Let me stop this run and let me go to the create module. And instead of five minutes of minimum interval time, let's just make it one, just to see the logic in action. And I'll just run it and let's see if something comes up. So part B is created, then part A is created and then part A is waiting, part B gets in, and then it gets processed. See, it didn't wait it in the queue. Then part A is again produced, it's here. Then again, part A is getting produced and it's here. Now it's part B. And then it's it moved in front of the queue. So that's what we are doing. In this system, it's a little difficult to think, but think of a priority. So what we did is a priority queue. So think about an emergency department in a hospital. What happens if you are a severe patient, you are given priority in the queue and you'll be placed in the beginning. Whenever a resource, whenever a bed or doctor gets uh, freed, uh, the entity with the highest priority will get into the resource and get processed accordingly. So that's what we wanted to show. So let's go ahead and stop this run. And let's bring this back to five. And click OK. All right, let's go back to our Word file. And over here, let's see what would be our next logic. Next logic would be we would like to try to get the average total time in the system for part A and part B separately. You might think that inside entity report, we have average total time in the system for entities, but we haven't created entity in the traditional way. So it won't give us the value for part A and part B separately. So how to do that? Let's go ahead and see. So I'll go back to arena and then I'll go to attribute data module. And over here, I'll create a new attribute called my arrival time. It will track the arrival time of each entity. 
So why should I reference and reassign it? I'll go to assign part feature, assign module. I'll go to end of list and then I'll select attribute here. Attribute name would be my arrival time. And then the new value would be T now. I'll click OK and click OK over here. All right, so we have assigned the attribute value to my arrival time. Next, we are going to use a record module. And then before it leaves the system, we want to track that time. So I'll get a record module I'll place here and then I'll connect the output of the decrement V total assigned module with the input of this record module, the output of this record module to dispose module. All right, let's double click on this record module and name it record total time. And over here, we need to define and statistics. Before doing that, let's just click OK. Sorry about that. Let's just cancel it. And let's go ahead and go to set. So we created my picture set. Now we'll be creating a set called my total time. My total system time. And we'll be grouping two tallies together. However, we haven't created our tallies, right? So for that reason, we need to create our tally. How can we do that? Let's go ahead and let's get our statistics template. So in tally over here, I'll select tally and then I'll double click here. The first tally, I would like to name it as Part A, part A total time tally. And then the second one, I'll just copy the whole thing. And for some reason, this language is not English that is showing in my arena. I don't know why. All right. So I'll name it as part B total time tally. All right. So I have my tallies there. I'll go back to my process, basic process. I'll go back to set. And over here, I'm going to add my tallies. So I'll click tally. And then the first tally is for part type A. Second tally is for part type B. And then I'll click OK. And then I'll just name to my total time set. OK. And then I'll come back to my record module and over here, I'll just name it record total time. And then I'm going to add an assignment. What type of assignment? I'll select time between arrival. So read over here, what does it say? It, so this record module will be recording the difference between the current simulation time and the time stamped value stored in the attribute name for the tally name specified. All right, so attribute name, my arrival time has captured, will be capturing the time when entity is being created and entered this assigned module. And this record module will get the current simulation time. And then it will subtract this two time in order to get the total system time for entities based on whether they're part A or part B. So, so let's go ahead and do that. I'll just select record into sets because we have created a set and the set is called my total time set. And index would be my part type. So if my part type is one, then this value will be stored in the first tally that we have here in my total time sets set. If it's part two, then the value will be stored in the second tally called part B total time tally. All right, let's go ahead and click OK. 
we'll click OK again. And then I'll go back to my statistics module. And in tally, I can see over here, I can store this tally to my system for each individual entity. How to do that? I have to create either to text file or CSV file to record this values. So I'll just open my Excel and then I'll just create two blank files in CSV format. So I'll click a blank work, workbook here. I'll go to file and then I'll hit save as. I'll just save it in my desktop and name it uh, part A. And then the format should be CSV or text. So I can, I'll just select it as CSV file and then hit save. And you don't need to put anything over here. It should be a blank file. And then I'll create another new file and name it and go ahead and save it as CSV as well. So I'll name it part B and then the extension would be CSV. Go ahead and click save. And then I'll close these two files. All right. Over here, I'll go ahead and I don't know why the language of my arena got changed. However, it says I should be saying file in your system. So let me go ahead and select the file where I want to save my first tally. I'll go to my desktop. I'll go to part A and select, I'll just select the CSV file called part A. And I'll do the same for part B. I created another file called part B. It needs to be separately done else, like if we save it in the same file, the rows will get wiped. So it will paste everything for part A first and then for part B. So in that process, all the data for part A will get wiped off. That's why we want to save it in separate files. All right, let's go ahead and save it. And then let's just run our model. I'll just click go and then just speed up it because we want to see the result at the end. I'll just click hit okay. Yes, and then over here in this simple drilling process hierarchy in the report, we'll go to user specified and then click usage. So over here, it's giving us the average total time part A has been spending in the system. It's 2.1340 minutes. And average B is 10.5456 minutes. Minimum was 1.0014, maximum was 9.1444 for part A. And similarly, we can find it for part B. So that's the average step. Now, we have created two files to get the output for individual entities. So let's end this run and let's go ahead to the desktop where I saved these two CSV files. So part A, let me open it and see what I have there. So I have some values here. So these are just like the header for the file. I'll just delete them. So I have two rows. The first row is T now. So whenever this value was recorded, this T now is recorded in the first column. And in the second column, it's the total system time for part B entities. And this minus one just means end of the stat like it, there is no more stat for this uh, particular reference we give in arena let's just take that off so this is the total like this is the system time for entity one of part type b so there were total 35 entities out of that 
11 of them were part B. Let's see if it matches with our value here. Oh, I have to run it one more time. Let's go, oh, sorry, I have opened my Excel file, so it won't allow me to run it. However, there were total 35 entities. Out of that, 11 were part A. So am I in part A now? Yeah, I'm in part A. So this should be for part A. Okay, let's go ahead and see the average of these numbers here. It's 2.13395 something. So let's go ahead and let's go to report, category overview, and then Okay, so I ran it and let's go ahead and go to user defined stat. So the average total time for part A was 2.1340. Let's try to get the average for this one. Sorry, it got wiped off. It's 2.1339, something like that. So they're similar. And these are T now. So you know how to get the total time for each entity in the system. You can do it and get it for all the entities that is uh, process, getting processed through your system. One more thing I would like your attention, uh, I would like to bring your attention to is that uh, don't, conf don't confuse like, um, this heading of these two columns. The first column is T now, and the second column is always system time. If you confuse it, it's a little difficult to get. All right, so I'll just close this file, and same will be reported in for part B. So if we go to part B, we'll get to see the same output statistics that we just collected for part A. However, we see that there are more part B, which is logical because 80% of the total arriving parts are part B. That's why we have more part Bs in our system. So do the same and you'll find that average for this column is same as that one reported in ARENA. And why we are call calling this tally? Because at every time, what we are doing is that ARENA is tracking a particular value at a particular time and then it's getting the average of all those numbers that it has reported at some times. That's why it's called tally. And time persistence stat, that's another stat we'll be dealing later on. It's like it will collect the value of particular things, let's say a variable, and then divide it over the total simulation run. And that's why it's called time persistent. That means it's getting a timely output of something and then it's dividing it over the total time, total system time that the simulation has ran. All right. That concludes our tutorial for this time. And next time we will be doing uh, more on getting output in Excel file using Arena. Thank you for watching.